Oh yeah! So what up guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's a late December, about a week out from Christmas, but today I'm out on the Animus doing a quick river session. We're supposed to get some storms in tomorrow, so I want to get a good session in before we get some snow and hopefully I'm able to pick up some good fish. But one thing I wanted to talk about for today's session is it's something called winter mode. I've got a few emails recently about winter mode and what I mean. When I mention winter mode, what I'm really talking about is the temperature of the river. So when the temps get below 40 in the rivers, mainly in free stones, or actually only in free stones, um, tailwaters are completely different. So just a quick note that all this advice is just mainly for free stones, which get a lot colder in the winter time. Once the water temps get below 40 degrees, fishing will get pretty tough. And the reason why fishing gets tough is that a lot of the smaller fish literally don't have to eat from when the temps get below 40 until they reach above 40 again. So that's months, three, four months of not actually eating. Their metabolism will slow down and they won't actually have to eat. The bigger fish will still get out and they need. So there is still fish in the river that are still feeding, but not a lot. And in some rivers, there might be none. If, if you fish in a river where um, the fish are pretty small, then they might all be shut down for the winter. So. But like the Animus has a good population of, of bigger trout. So I'm able to get out in the winter time, even on really cold days, and still catch fish majority of the year. Even with big ice chunks floating in the river, I can still catch fish sometimes. But it is a lot harder than the rest of the year, and it is pretty tough. So today I want to try to give you guys some of my um, river techniques that I use when I'm out on the river in the winter time. So hopefully you guys can get out this winter and catch some fish. So I guess the first tip that I like to to give when people ask for advice in winter fishing is to find the deepest pool to fish, the darkest and deepest and slowest moving water. Deeper water is going to be a little warmer. And well, another thing I like to look for in pools is is uh, sunken boulders. I like to run my nymphs right next to sunken boulders. And that is normally where I'll pull my fish uh, deeper holes next to sunken boulders a deep pool will depend on the river you're fishing in on the animus some of these river some of these pools are like five six feet deep um back home in arizona some of the rivers i fish there like a three foot pool might be deep enough to to hold a trout that's kind of in winter mode when we're fishing in the winter time is you have to hit the pools pretty hard you almost have to be right on you have to get your nymph really close to the fish they're not necessarily, they're rarely ever gonna chase the nymph down this time of the year. So you have to get it, get a good drift, and you basically have to hit them in the head. That's kind of what people say. So, one thing I like to do is I like to take my time in the wintertime and fish these pools a lot longer than I normally would the rest of the year, just for that reason that you know that you have to get your nymphs basically right on top of the fish. So yeah, so the first tip is deeper pools, slow down your drifts, heavy, real heavy. I like to go real heavy in the winter time, even in slower pools where I could get down with a smaller bead. So slow, slow it down, uh, heavier bugs. Sunken boulders are a good place to search for fish this time of the year. And also be patient, you have to fish the pools a lot more. The strike zone this time of the year is a lot a lot smaller you have less room for error so you have to go through multiple times sometimes to be able to get a fish and also i think it's just the fact that you have to be there at the right time when they're actually out feeding usually the warmest part of the days the day will produce the most fish for me so another winter tip for me is i like to use a little bit bigger heavier bugs um caddis check nymph is kind of one of my good go-to patterns in the winter time right now i'm actually not starting off with the check nymph but it's probably produced the most fish for me in the winter time fishing a check nymph and another little tip that i like to do in the winter time i'm not actually doing it now but what i what i will do in the winter time when it gets a lot colder is i'll shorten the distance between my top dropper and my point fly right now i'm fishing a about 20 inches apart my flies only because I'm getting ready for a comp in about a month in Cherokee so I'm trying to fish um, comp legal rules right now just to 
just to get it, get some practice in for my comp coming up. But if I'm out fishing for fun, I'll shorten the distance between my pop dropper and my point fly. And majority of the time when I do that is I'll get a use my top dropper as a more of an anchor pattern, real heavy. It'll get my fly down, and then the top dropper, which is about a foot above it, um, will usually catch the fish. So shorten the distance between your droppers. Use a lot heavier patterns. I like to use a lot bigger bigger patterns this time of the year. Like the size 12 check nymphs, like I said, it's a good pattern. Size 12 princes. I also have, I'm fishing a size 12 nymph right now. And more natural seems to, seems to do the trick for me, but if it's a slow day and I feel like there's fish there, I'll go really, really flashy. Like um, rainbow warriors and like hot pink are, Batanos. Batanos are a real bright orange color that that I use and I'll use the clear flashy and as opposed to like the more green Batano. Real flashy stuff. Finally. Finally. Nice rainbow on. So I just switched to a squirmy, went through that hole a bunch of times right there right at the top of the pool and no luck. Switched to a squirmy and hooked up second or third cast through there it's a nice rainbow about 20 inch range yeah Here we go, another big brown on. Finally, finally a nice fish.
here. Another nice brown. It's a little smaller. Still a nice fish though. Yeah. Another one, another one, yeah. Pulled three out of this little pool so far. Oh, dropped him. Sorry guys, I'm gonna call it a day here. So for the most part, it was a typical day on the Animus during the winter time. Fishing was pretty tough, pretty slow. Had to fish pretty hard, but I was still able to get in the four fish. Um, had dropped one, but I netted two browns on a rainbow. Um, they all came off of different flies. The bigger brown was off a, a little a little friend's fly that had a squirmy, that the rainbow ate a squirmy, and then the last two took a caddis nymph. So overall, it was a pretty solid day, pretty tough, but that's usually how winter fishing goes.